This is the most requested view that parents ask for, and that is to see all of the fingers and toes. Now, I'll tell you something quite interesting. I've been doing ultrasound for 30 plus years at the institution, and what's quite interesting to me is that parents rarely come in and ask, is my child going to be mentally retarded? Is the heart sticking out of the chest? Is the brain abnormal? They want to know if the fingers and toes are there. And I'm, and I'm not sure why that is. <laughs> but I think one explanation may be that perhaps parents think that the fetus starts developing in the center, and then it develops all the way out to the fingers and toes. And if it makes it to the fingers and toes, then everything else must be OK. Now, this is the third most requested view by parents. I think if you look at this very carefully, you'll see that this is the nose of the fetus. This is the, the upper lip and the lower lip and the alveolar ridge, and there's a little bit of the hand there. This scan was obtained looking for abnormalities such as a cleft lip or a cleft palate. So this isn't just a, I'll refer to as a cutesy picture for the parents, but rather a diagnostic image to help exclude a congenital malformation of the face in this particular instance. And this is really the big one, the gender of the fetus. So here you can see the penis and the scrotum, the labia, so we're able to tell female and male. And again, as you can imagine, this is one of the requested uh, structures that we're asked to look at. But I must tell you that this is really highly dependent upon how the fetus is lying within the gravid uterus. If the fetus is turned so that its back is up to us, well, that's great for looking at the spine, but that's not so good looking at the front of the fetus. So sometimes we really can't tell whether it's a boy or a girl.